Okay, so we're nearly at the end of this calculation uh, for Laplace's rule of succession. Uh, so, uh, we calculated in the previous video that the probability that E occurs is equal to 1 over m plus 1. So if we plug that final value into this formula, we get that the probability that P is less than or equal to K, given that E occurs, is equal to K to the m plus 1 divided by m plus 1, and then we have times 1 over m plus 1. So this and this cancel, and we just get that it's equal to k to the m plus 1. So that is the probability that, uh, that p is less than or equal to k, given that e occurs. So if we want the PDF, that if we want the PDF, um, so if we want, um, let me just write this down, I need more space. Uh, so if we want uh, the PDF, Conditional on E having happened, on E having happened, oh dear, where's that sun coming from? Having happened uh, uh, for uh, P equaling a certain value of K, we need to differentiate this function. So we've got that the probability that P is less than or equal to K, given that E occurs, is equal to uh, k to the m plus 1. So if we differentiate that, we get that the PDF is equal to m plus 1 to the times k to the n. So that tells us what the probability uh, that um, the probability is equal to k is. So this is, well, the probability density function. It's the conditional PDF. It's saying E has occurred. What's the probability density function uh, that uh, that um, P is equal to K. So if I plot this for you, it's uh, something along the lines of that. And as N gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this gets steeper and steeper and more along the lines of that. So the probability density function gets more and more leaning towards the probability being up near 1 as uh, the number of days that you observe the sun coming up goes up and up and up. Uh, so understand what this is. It's a conditional PDF. It's saying if we look at our original probability, um, uh, if we look at our original probability space, we have our event E here, which is the event that the sun rose for n days, and we're saying, okay, now on this set, just on this set, uh, define me a random variable which I'm going to call P this time, uh, which ascribes to each one of these uh, outcomes its probability. So P maps each outcome. Onto its, uh, onto its probability parameter, probability parameter, i.e. Uh, what probability it was using to calculate the um, sun uh, rising, uh, whether the sun is going to rise each day. Um, and basically, if I do that, uh, this P uh, has PDF, has PDF, uh, so F of P of little x is equal to m plus 1 times x to the n on uh, x is an element of 0 to 1.